If you're sleeping with someone and you're trying to figure out if somebody loves you, get bangs, wake up next to them, and if they're not pushing your disheveled bangs to the side, giving you a kiss on the forehead, I don't know what to tell you. Luckily, I'm sleeping alone. It's the best. Speaking of alone, I haven't been taking myself out on solo dates as of late. Or actually, I've spent time alone, but not super intentional time alone. I think the next couple of days, I'll be taking myself on some solo dates if you guys want to come along. I guess it's not really solo if I'm bringing the camera around but I mean I'm gonna be documenting like 2% out of the time I'm spending by myself you get what I mean it's too early for disclaimers my voice sounds like I have a frog in it but you know what they say eat the frog early in the morning or no what's the say or it's a question would you rather eat the frog if you had to eat a frog would you eat it in the morning or eat it later in the day and it's like a metaphorical question sorry I cannot take myself seriously with this um, it's like 80s bangs, like 80s city pop, 80s city pop bangs. Um, <laughs> but basically the question is saying, you know, when we have something difficult to do, are you going to do it earlier in the day, finish it out, get it over with, or are you going to keep it later in the day? And that might weigh on your mind throughout the day. To each their own. I personally want to get to start eating the frog earlier. It sounds like I have. <laughs> Still getting over this cold. Constantly trying to take care of myself. I feel like I'm getting better though. Uh, three, two, one. the window really quick because it's kind of loud outside. Do I have cilantro in my teeth? Okay, we're okay. I'm eating my breakfast right now and it's this beautiful beet oxtail soup. If you're Vietnamese, you've probably had something like this growing up. It's this rich yet light dish. Excuse me. It has oxtail as the bone broth. It takes a long time to extract all those flavors. It's like making pho. It just has a different taste at the end because you're not using like star anise and spices like that. What I love most are the beets in this. Beets are a superfood. I love the texture. I love how light it is. It's just so delicious. If I find a good recipe, I'll link it down below. Although this looks like a very relaxing moment in my corner, staring out the window, eating my homemade Vietnamese beet oxtail soup. I do this a lot to myself. I create my own anxious scenarios. I'm eating beet soup on a very white couch. There's not really much turning back if this fills. It's like wearing all white when on your period. I do that. When on my period is when I feel most compelled to dress like Hannibal Lecter. I went to the loveliest, most ethereal girl dinner the other night, hosted by Justine at 736 Studios, and Jilly who curated this insane dinner. Everything was so detailed. <laughs> so how you guys show up here, how you eat, like that's why intentionally how you eat your food. It was nothing like I've experienced before. Everything was so intentional. And before we had our dinner, the group of girls and I had a meditation led by Justine. We moved to the dinner table. Jilly led us through like a process of sensing our orange slice before diving into the dinner. It felt like this big strip tease in the best way possible. Feel the orange, feel the rind, squeeze one drop into your mouth without eating it yet. Smell it, look at it, lick it. Yes, of course, it can seem silly, but doing that before eating, I've never experienced an orange slice like I did that night. And it just reminded me of how rushed I've been feeling during my meals. I get it, life gets busy. Sometimes I can barely fit in one or two full meals in a day if I'm running around like a headless chicken. Seldom do I sit down and experience my food, fully express gratitude, and feel like the food that I'm ingesting is here to help me out, is here to nourish me, to take care of me. And yeah, it was just a good reminder. It was a good calling back to more intentional eating, and as I'm saying this, I'm like, I know it's not gonna happen 24 7, but it's a good reminder, gentle reminder for the majority of my meals. I'm not gonna pray over every single thing that I put into my mouth. Mm. Um, 
Just having a couple of intentional meals throughout a week really make a difference. This is the week that I'm calling myself back to doing that again. And yes, it does sound wishy-washy, but I do think it's a big part of my healing journey, if you will, with food. It's been a topic. It's been a topic since I've been a teenager. I grew up seeing things that I thought was really normal, such as binging and purging. I'm definitely walking on eggshells talking about this topic. I say this to say I just want to take more time eating intentionally again. We were there. I love women. I just came back from another Gorp Girls hike and the conversations we had were just so fun and free. It was just open, non-judgmental, and I hugged a tree. early breakfast this morning trying to do a high protein intake early on i've been reading gabrielle lyon's book and really studying up on fixing unnecessary hunger pangs such as having random cravings throughout the day intermittent fasting did its thing for me when it needed to but now i think i want to approach my eating regimen more from a nutritional place and so i've been really educating myself on fasting, autophagy, and then also what I'm putting into my body, how it plays into my mood, my bloating, my energy levels throughout the day. As I'm trying to get my life together, I've been having breakfast. I've been having heavy protein breakfast. If you guys are interested in some high protein meals, let me know. It's been so fun to look up recipes and kind of finesse conventionally healthy tasting things into tastier things for me. But again, I like a range. I like not having super delicious foods every day. It trains my palate to be more flexible and that when I do have really flavorful foods, just blasts and gushes of umami, the taste profiles hit harder. Basically not desensitizing my palate because I used to eat super palatable foods on the daily. Not being a health freak, but being educated enough to feel good about what I'm eating the majority of the time. You guys know I still love my In-N-Out. So in the mornings, on a fasted stomach, I like to have like my powders and things with probiotics in them and like apple cider vinegar and stuff like that. And then I'll do my morning routine and then I'll have my breakfast. This morning particularly, I went on a hike with the girls. Now I'm ready to take my supplements. Where is it? Love that these are travel friendly. Big thanks to Kara for sponsoring this portion of the video and taking care of me. But I've been throwing these in my bag as I'm leaving the house and they've been keeping me super accountable to stay on top of what my body needs. In the past month or so, I've been getting into more customized things. I'm currently using a custom hair care routine and it's been working out great for me. And so I was like, let me try out some custom supplements. With Care of You, take a quiz online and they asked great questions in the quiz too. I was so afraid of this being a bit superficial and maybe a repeat of vitamins that I'm already taking, but they really surprised me with what they equipped me with. And I think this is so good, especially if you're starting out with supplements you don't know where to begin. Care of might be it because it's more targeted as opposed to a broad spectrum of things. They pull out a set of curated products that are research backed of course and they set you on your optimal dose. Today's quote, never be limited by other people's limited imaginations. Dr. Mae Jemison, I co-sign that. One of my favorites has to be this Estesanthin which helps me with skin, helps with my skin barrier and retention of moisture. The Ashwagandha helps me with stress relief. If you guys are interested in trying out personalized supplements yourself, take the quiz on Kerov's website and see what's recommended for you. Do a little research yourself and then when you're ready you can use my code TAM50 and I believe it's 50% off of your first subscription items. That is all. Thank you so much Kara. Mm -hmm. I'm currently at Stereoscope in Hollywood. I'm gonna go do some work. Enjoy some time alone. Do I need a jacket? I'll bring it. This is a light jacket from Snow Peak and it's perfect for California hiking. It's cold in the morning, you don't know how to feel and then you start hiking, start sweating a little bit. It ventilates really well. Let's go! mothers right now and I feel like this is the more low-key air wash. This is squeezable instant pancake mix and it's so cute. The packaging got me. I'm weak. I'm weak. To the front, but look. To the front. Squeezable instant pancake mix. Fill a bottle with cold water, shake it up, and you squeeze it out. That's so smart. Do I try this? This is apple cinnamon and then they have banana. They're sold out of the buttermilk one. Do I get this? I would feel like I'm wasting money if I bought regular buttermilk flavor. Like I would have to get yummy banana 
or apple cinnamon to justify this purchase so that I'm not just buying it for the novelty. I'm not getting it. Here's what I actually ended up getting at Mother's. Whole milk. Yes, I'm a whole milk person. I also like almond milk. Got two Sumo oranges. Are these oranges or mandarins? Probably one of my favorite citrus fruits. They're so easy to peel and they're just so much more fulfilling than like a cutie. Although I do love me a good cutie. You're a cutie. Belinsky's organic mild Italian with bell peppers chicken sausage. 12 grams of protein per link. The last thing I got, Lark Ellen Farm sprouted granola. I'm doing a little taste test of different kinds of granola so that I can see what I like and don't like when I make my own granola at home. Apparently making granola is really easy, but buying a bag of granola, it's so expensive. Is it not? This was $8.99. I'm trying to see what seeds and nuts and flavors I like in a granola. I just said granola like 10 times. I think one of the things for me is to not have my granola be just a crap ton of carbs. Usually granolas are just jam packed with it, but sprouted granolas and granolas that are more focused on nuts and seeds and like coconut flakes and stuff like that are way less carb dense. It's not just oats. Let's try it right now. Also, I'm a huge fan of pumpkin seeds. They're just so good for you. This is a cluster. I went in my shirt. Mmm. Whoa. Mmm. Wait a minute. Mmm. It's like. It's gonna throw me up with the laid back song. The head 21 just like Ringling Brothers. How days in the sound. I'm headed to the Stone Island Archival LA pop-up. I've been feeling really overwhelmed lately, so this feels like a treat. I'm excited to see the history of the Stone Island jackets. I'm not wearing Stone Island today. Feeling a little melancholic today. Perhaps it's the weather, it's been gray. Also, I have not been outside since now, 3 p.m. <laughs> and I've just been working on stuff that has been piling up. I was talking to my friend yesterday. I was so low energy. I felt so bad, but that was all that I could give. I could just show up at like 20% me, which was 100% of me at the time. So yeah, today I'm just trying to be nicer to myself, take it easy, ask for help if I need it. I don't know why I feel like I need to fill up 110% of my time and then I just get stuck. I get stuck in my own race. What am I listening to right now? I'm listening to a tribe called Quest Jazz. We've got the jazz. My skin has been irritated, especially on my cheeks because I started with the retinol and I think I went too strong. We're gonna try Juvalook. We just finished a cleanse and now this is the numbing part. It's starting to kick in. My face is feeling a little tingly and I'm just excited. I'm excited to see and feel some sort of restoration in my skin since my skin barrier has been so irritated and my skin is pretty thin, especially in this area. Do you wanna say hi? Hey. We're gonna get started now. <laughs> 
After a careful, thorough look at my skin, Juvalook was suggested. It's one of the most popular skin treatments in Korea right now. It's a skin booster that stimulates collagen production, tightens pores, reduces overall redness, evens out the skin surface, just to name a few benefits. One side done. Now we do the left side. She said I'm doing okay. <laughs> She's very good. We just finished. It was so fast. This much is a little bit penetrating. Mm -hmm. Your skin is come down faster. Um, That's definitely what it feels mm -hmm. like it's doing. Can I put on sunscreen today? I am doing it right now. <gasps> Yay! <laughs> thank you so <laughs> much. I knew you wouldn't let me leave without I sunscreen. No, I will be hard work with a good product. Exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, if you hate working out, 12, 3, 30 is that big. Before you know it, you're like 15 minutes in and you're sweating and your heart rate is up. This year, I've been really focusing on zone 2 workouts. Zone 2 workouts is where I've seen the most results and I'm not driving myself to hell every time I'm working out. It's good to drive yourself there sometimes. Most days it's mentally for me that I'm working on. But physically, if I can still get a good workout in, one that doesn't make me feel like I'm being chased by a jaguar, count me in. I've also stopped lifting super heavy. I did it for a short amount of time because I thought that that was the solution. But honestly, through like yoga and Pilates, just finding out what your body weight is like for resistance is such a good starting point. Y'all, I wasn't able to do a push-up until last year. Once I was able to get like two or three correct push-ups in a row, I was like, bet, I'm signing up for NASA tomorrow and I'm going to the moon. It just proved to me how much my body can do. I used to never be the type of person to think that I was strong. I've said this several times before in my videos, but I'm still in shock. I still got a long ways to go the rest of my life. But yeah, I guess the moral of the story is that not every workout has to be non-stop huffing and puffing and you feeling like you're about to see God. You don't need to break your back every time you're working out. Save that for the bedroom. Speaking of bedroom, one of my best friends is moving into this building. I'm so excited. I feel like we're about to build this commune of sick ass women. But I'm gonna be helping her moving some stuff tonight and tomorrow. And then next week, I'll be helping my mom move into her place. I love that I'm saying this while I still have boxes to unbox at my place. <laughs> I really gotta get on that. Anyway, 12, 3, 30. Just walk. Walk your problems away. Straighten out your mind. Get some clarity. I'm so happy that I discovered walking. <laughs> oh my gosh. It feels unreal. I know. Preview. Well, this is actually, you said experimental. Yeah. This one is a sketch for Tammy. Wait, what? Yeah, this is the one that I was sending you. Because this color reminds me of you. I'm not going to cry. <laughs> we'll do a formal introduction when she gets settled. <laughs> tiny shoes okay you're because, not pregnant are you no <laughs> i do fit into these if i really show um this would oh okay because a guy do I you want to show this or no yeah we can okay so okay. i went on a date with a guy and he told me he loved me on the first date yeah, and i was like oh this is going nowhere and then after we were at the bar and he was like i love you and i was like don't i'm just like eating flies <laughs> 
He's like, we should go to another bar. He points to Cheetah's, which is just a strip club. And I was like, Wait, and I, at this point I was like, how weird can this Wednesday night get? Yeah, so yeah. I was like down for the ride. Was he a comedian? No, he thought he was, but he wasn't. Ouch. The next thing I see is on his Instagram, he drove past my apartment and he like posted a photo in front of it. And the photo that he posted was him driving a Rolls Royce and I screenshotted it and sent it to my friends. And I was like, is this scary or just desperate? My friend goes, I think the biggest red flag about this is that he's wearing Crocs. That's what this, these baby Crocs and this little, he was renting the car. Oh no, yeah. he pulled a Tyga. I mean, the whole thing was just really pathetic. And this was a guy, he had bought a painting from me. I'm really just exposing all these men. No, he bought a painting is, from me. Myth. Are you guys ready for LA dating diaries? Mine are kind of done, but the, I'll <laughs> provide. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Mine TBD. <laughs> This was a guy bought a painting from me. I thought it was just like he supported my art. It was the night of the Super Bowl and he texted me and he was like, what are you doing? Moon face emoji. What does Damn. that mean? I really like you're a customer. Because <laughs> okay. these are all my little like red flags. My red flag list was just so specific to experiences I had. It's not really fair to be applicable. I've also met some really lovely men that I was just like, this isn't gonna work out. This isn't yeah. a match. Yeah. But, and also like it depends on like your headspace at the time that you met them. They could mm -hmm. be amazing, but. Have any other fun stories? I think that's it.